loving message this morning for people living with spina bifida. Last week we shared the story of a mother from Orange Park using her social media platform to bring awareness to her son's journey living with spina bifida. That story touched the life of another viewer, also in Orange Park, who has been living with spina bifida for more than 60 years. As Claire Alfie reports, this woman wants people to know this diagnosis is not a life sentence. Here, I'm a year old. Kristen Hurd from Orange Park says she always knew she was different. And when she was born, according to her mom, her doctor said the same thing. Uh, nothing was said before she was born because no one knew. Kristen lives with spina bifida, a rare birth defect where the spinal cord doesn't fully form. It's something her mother didn't know existed until Kristen was born and doctors were unsure of how long she would live. And about a week later, I started developing hydrocephalus. And so I have a VR metal shunt in my head. So she was three weeks old when I was able to pick her up. At that time, there wasn't a lot of research done about spina bifida. So she used the diagnosis as motivation to prove her peers and other physicians wrong. She said living with spina bifida caused her to be delayed when it came to walking compared to her classmates. But she didn't let that stop her from being successful in the classroom. I wanted to teach kids like me, you know. But I was told that it would be too, you know, the wheelchairs and everything like that would be too much for me. Kristen spent her adult life as a special education teacher and mom, even though spina bifida potentially could lead to fertility issues down the road. My grandkids are fine, you know, so I'm glad I didn't not have kids because of the possibility. Kristen hopes other parents and children can see her story so they know too that despite living with spina bifida, they can have a quality life. Claire Alfrey, First Coast News, on your side.